So we got to Spain and Portugal, and really we didn't have a solid game plan of exactly what was going to happen. We didn't even have a solid goal of what we wanted to accomplish other than to start learning, scouting, meeting people, getting to know the lay of the land. But it actually wasn't too hard to start learning what wine should taste like for certain price points. So for instance, if we go to a specific region and we visit, a, and I'm talking a small region or maybe regions within inside of regions, and you visit five to 15 producers and you're tasting pretty much the same grape, the same wine everywhere, you start learning trends. Almost all wine producers have two, three, or four tiers of wine, meaning different quality levels. And what you start seeing once you get pricing is that they all have very similar benchmarks for their pricing. So the different quality tiers, there'll be similar pricing tiers. And so as you go through and you taste some wine and then you bring it back and you retaste it, you can very quickly get a good grasp of what quality wine should taste like for different price points. So we were able to really identify those trends pretty quickly and while you're trying so many wines, the winners stand out and you're able to dwindle it down pretty quick because you just get to know the price points, the qualities, and then certain wines hit you and you're like, oh my God, this wine for that price, this is a really good winner. This is a value that I can get behind 100% not just looking for wines that taste good at reasonable price points, but the ones that you think, wow, this is it. People are going to love this and I can't wait that I to offer this at the price point that I'll be able to. So that's how we started learning about finding those rockstar wines that, that we eventually pick and continue to pick.